Hey guys, Jason Lucas here with Make and Do. Today I'm going to show you my newest portable air conditioner or air cooler, as some people call it, which is actually the better term. Um, but this is the third one I've made, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how I did it and what makes this one better than a lot of the other ones that you see out there. Everything that I've got here, all the parts that I used to build it with, I'm going to have links in the description below so that you can go get those parts if you need to. Uh, and I'll tell you where I got them, if I didn't get them from, from Amazon or if I had to get them locally, whatever. But um, so on this one, what one of the things that makes this cooler so much better than a lot of the others is a lot of the coolers you see out there, they have the fan motor, no matter what kind of motor it is, but normally they'll blow in to the cooler where you have like a bed of ice or blocks of ice or whatever, and they blow across the top of that ice and then they come back out. And so they use that air... Uh, as the air goes across the top of the ice, it kind of cools down a little bit and comes out at a much cooler temperature. And um, so one of the problems, and I actually built one similar to that, and uh, my first one actually. One of the things, or one of the problems that you have with that is when the air goes onto the top of the ice, it kind of actually creates an air pocket that just keeps circulating. So a lot of the air that's coming back out is not actually even hitting the ice. It's just kind of mixing with the other air and cooling down a little bit. So a really good thing is if you can get under the ice. And in the second cooler that I made, uh, I actually had a way to get under the ice, but it stayed in a tube and, and it had a, some, some different challenges. But this one, I believe, is much better. And I'll show you in a little bit. We'll do a test with it running after I've had some ice in it. But let me show you how this one works. Oh, before I do that, one other thing is, Another thing that makes this one work so well is the motor. It it uh, This is a marine blower, air blower, and uh, it it blows out a lot of air. It's 270 CFMs. And uh, so first off, you have a lot of airflow with this because of this um, because of this blower. And I'll have a link for this as well. So let me show you the inside and show you what makes this one work so well. So when you look in here, if you notice, you see, I've get, got this grate that's going, it's about halfway the, in the depth of the cooler. And then the blower, when the air comes in, it follows this, and all the air blows underneath. So when you pour your ice, your ice is all going to rest up here. And as it melts, um, the water at the bottom will be ice cold. But in order for the air to come out the vent at the top, it's going to have to force its way through the entire layer of ice. And it's going to make the air extremely cold. So you don't have a problem with an air pocket on top of the ice because the air actually has to filter through the ice to be able to escape out the top. So I'm really excited about this air conditioner. I think it's one of my best ones yet. Uh, and that, the reason is because it just blows out a ton of air and the air is really cold. It's probably the coldest out of uh, all the, the uh, portable ACs that I've built like this. And uh, let me show you how cold it is coming out. All right, guys, so I may have a hard time topping myself on this one. This one really puts out some cold air. Uh, as you can see, the temperature dropped to freezing a couple of times up at the top of the pipe, and you can feel it from a good distance away. I mean, I put my hand all the way at the front windshield, and I can feel the air from back there, which is really good for anyone who's built these coolers. Sometimes you have to be kind of close uh, to feel the cold air, but I can feel really cold air all the way at the front of the car. And uh, so this one's definitely does better than uh, any of the others so far, as far as being able to simply produce a good bit of cold air. So here's a photo of the items that you're gonna need in order to be able to build this. Uh, obviously you need the cooler, you're gonna need the, the blower, you're gonna need this duct work, and you're gonna need this HVAC tape that goes around it. And then of course you're gonna need your, your wiring and um, the metal grate that goes inside. And again, there's links in the descriptions to, to where you can get some of this stuff. Now, when you put your metal grate in, um, 
I decided to put it in before I put in the duct work simply because it's going to be almost impossible to get it in after the fact. It might be a little tough when you go to caulk the duct work from the inside because you're hitting the grate, but, but you can do it. You just have to work around it a little bit. up your wiring just keep in mind that if you use the same cord that I've got here the one that I recommend coming from the blower you have a black wire and a brown wire and the wire that's going to plug into your cigarette lighter actually has three wires it has a red a yellow and a black so if you use this same exact wire you're going to want to hook the black and the yellow from the lighter to the black cord on the blower and then you're going to want to hook the red cord or the red wire from the lighter to the brown cord on the blower. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck making your cooler and if you have any questions at all, feel free to uh, ask in the comments below.